Alright, we're betting a progressive version of Double Double Bonus. The main thing to remember in Double Double is that the aces are super valuable. So we got three face cards up here. And we're just going to hold the ace. Here we're going to hold the ace and the jack because they're suited. All right, there's only be a couple times when you do not hold two to the royal. This is one of them. You never hold ace 10 suited. All right, that seven of diamonds is what we call a penalty card. If that was a seven of clubs, you would hold king 10, two to the royal. But this is another situation where you do not hold king 10 because that extra diamond is a penalty. All right, here you hold the ace of diamonds because it can make the straight flush. You get the nine and the 10. Back to back, we need a jack. Back to back to back trips. Weirdest hand I've ever had was I got dealt back to back four nines. All right, here you hold the pair over the open-ended straight. Open ending, meaning if you held five, six, seven, eight, you could get a straight on either side, the four or the nine, but you're gonna hold the pair here instead. All right, and double, double bonus. If you get two pair and one of the pair are aces, you drop the other pair. So you just hold the aces here. All right, and double double bonus you hold the inside straights meaning you only need you can only get one card to make the straight and we got it all right here you take three to the straight flush over um, any face cards All right, instead of two to the royal, you take all four to the open-ended straight. All right, remember you hold the pair over the open-ended straight, but you hold four to the flush over a pair. All right, you hold the open-ended straight over three to a straight flush. Even if it was three in a row with no gaps, you'd still hold the open-ended straight. Back to back again. Oh, back to back to back. This time, threes on the ends. And we 
got one. No such luck. So we've explained this hand already. What do you guys hold here? And if you said four to the flush, you are correct. through this one as well. What do you hold here? Ah, I lied. Trick question. One of the two. Last time we had an open-ended straight because we didn't have the ace, we had a king. So because this is an open-ended, because the only card we can get to make the straight is the king, you hold the two to the royal because it's the jack and the queen. A little bit of a tricky hand. All right, this is another very tricky hand. you hold the inside straights. All right, here you only hold three to the royal flush. It's a one in 1,000 chance of getting that royal flush, but it's still uh, better in the long run to hold this than to hold four to the flush. Progressive version, say 10 6, 10 for the full house, 6 for the flush. It's almost a 100% game with your player's card in it, is because it only pays 200 instead of 250 for the straight flush. Otherwise, it'd be over 100%. We go 200 bucks.
free to the Royal because those pair of tents don't pay. This is what makes this such a good game because it pays 50 coins for that full house. very often but you hold nothing here all right same thing hold nothing This is an easy play for me on quarters, but it gets real difficult when I start playing dollars. I can stomach it on 50 cent, but man, that's how you know when you're playing out of your league is when you can't drop this full house. So this is a correct play. When you have a full house full of aces, you gotta drop the, the pair. Here we go. Another difficult hand here. You drop the nine to go for the straight flush because it's not open-ended. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. You can go to my page. I got a how to pay, how to play in the playlist. We got tons of different games. Deuces.